Hello everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about templates and what they are and why, they're, why they are a good thing to, to use. A template uh, in FL Studio, we've all seen a template. When you first load FL Studio, it's loading a template. It actually loads the last template that you've used. Now by default, this is the uh, what you're looking at is the default template and as far as I know everyone thinks that you know these are really weak sounds and uh, no one likes them too much but that's okay because you can make your own template now uh, a template is a standard uh, FL Studio project file and basically what it is it's a predefined set of channels uh, and it can include uh, mixer channels that could even include uh, note data if you wanted it to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, make my own template here so you can see how it's done. But why would you want to make a template? Well, the main reason for me is because it saves time. Um, I have my own favorite template which I'm going to show you in a minute, but you, by using that template uh, it really gives me the opportunity to not think about uh, getting a nice kick and, and snare and hat going. Uh, you know, I, I don't need to think about setting the tempo. I don't need to think about mixing channels or sending, you know, routing channels to mixer channels, uh, etc. And so if, an, if, if I'm, you know, inspired, I can just get right to work. So let's start... Uh, Let's start making a template, and as I'm making it, uh, I'm going to start with this default kit, and I'm just going to change it. One of the things you can do with a kit, you know, you could do like starter beats. For example, we all know if you saw the reggaeton tutorial that there's like this basic reggaeton beat that's used in, in every reggaeton song. You could actually create a template with, with that pattern in it, and then when you want to start a new reggaeton song, you load up that template and away you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take, uh, for example, I'm going to make um, maybe a funk kit. Okay, so I'm going to get some sounds like this kick, this snare, this hat, maybe a stick sound okay um, and then I could even do something like throw in a bass channel and uh, you know I could even set up the bass how I how I want it to be um, and then uh, you know I could throw in some other channels if I wanted to but additionally uh, what I could do is and if I scroll this down I can set the tempo because the default tempo of 140 is always too fast for me so I can set it down to maybe 96 and let me scroll this back out of the way uh, I could even bring up the uh, the mixer and for example there's my kick I can route that to uh, let's say mixer channel 1 snare to mixer channel 2 hat to mixer channel 3 my other snare back to channel 2 again and then my baseline maybe to channel 6. Okay, so then here in channel 6, that's my bass. That's my kick. Channel 2 is my snare. Uh, channel 3, my hat. And, uh, and then you can see if I hit a couple notes you can see it's routed there there's my kick should come out on this channel my snare should come out on that channel okay so it's it's all routed and ready to go now when I save this um, let me scroll the window down so you can 
can see this part. When I save this, I'm going to say File, uh, Save As, and then I'm going to find my template folder, which is here. Go into it, make a new folder, and I'll just call it Funky Kit. And then I'll go into there, and then give the project name the same name. Okay, so uh, so now I've saved this, and for all all intents and purposes, it's just a standard um, it's a standard FL Studio project file. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit FL Studio uh, because the templates don't save until you exit them and restart FL Studio. Okay, now that FL Studio is restarted, um, let me bring this down again. Uh, now if I go to File Templates, you can see I have Funky Kit right here. And when I click on that, it loads up my kit. Let me bring the step sequencer back so you can see uh, there's my drums, you'll notice my tempo, you'll notice my mixer has everything routed to it. And, uh, and it's ready to go. So you can do the same thing. Now, I have my own favorite kit, and if I go to that, um, you'll see that it's, it's got a kick, snare, clap, hat, a boo bass, and a piano. And that way I can lay down a quick beat, quick bass line and using the piano a quick melody or a quick uh, uh, chord progression if I wanted to. But you can also see how I have my pre-routed kick, snare, hats, percussion and drums in the, in the mixer. So it saves me so much time using this default kit. Plus it has some better sounds in it that, than the uh, FL Studio default kit. Uh, another thing to be aware of is that FL Studio comes with some templates already defined. For example, comes with an 808 kit defined. And uh, I don't know how many people know that, but a lot of people that say, oh yeah, you know, FL Studio's got cheesy sounds or, or, or whatever, you know, they haven't explored the program enough. Because yes, that first kit is kind of cheesy, especially since everyone's heard it a million times over. But here's an 808 kit, and this is a pretty good 808 kit. It's got a good thumping bass. It's got this really low boom. It's got the signature sounds of all the uh, 808 kit. It, you know, it's all there. So, you know, you just by using this one kit. Uh, this one template, you're on your way to making, uh, you know, a dirty South track or something. It's, uh, you know, it's really easy. So, in, in conclusion, uh, I urge everybody out there to make your own kits. Um, you know, it's a good thing to do if you're if you're not inspired to do a song at the moment. You know, take some time while you're bored, make a few kits. Uh, you know, what's more than likely going to happen, you're going to come across some sounds that, you know, spark something in you. Or at the very least, you'll have some nice kits so that when inspiration does hit you, you can just load up a kit and go and take it and, and seize the opportunity and the moment of uh, inspiration. So I hope you uh, like this tutorial. Um, if you uh, want to see any more tutorials, uh, please visit my site, www.warbeats.com. I have uh, all kinds of tutorials there. Uh, not all of them are, are necessarily uh, FL Studio specific, um, but since that's what I use, I demo um, everything with FL Studio. So that does it for this tutorial. Good luck and goodbye.